You're about to see an unusual instrument that dates back more than 300 years. It's not played by many people, but one local man has mastered the glass harp. His name is Jamie Turner, and when he's not traveling the world, he's on the waterfront in Alexandria. TBD segment producer Allison Kenworthy has the story. A few dozen in the world play the glass harp. As a solo instrument, I've only been playing it 33 years. Half an hour, 45 minutes, I can be all set up from um, bring them out of the cases to, uh, to perform. The sound of ordinary glass is a sweeter tone than crystal. The rubber bands are like shock absorbers. If I bump the glass accidentally, it doesn't break, it just gives. These are my finger bowls, and that's what I dip my hands in before I play. Everything is distilled water. I do a rough tuning and a fine tuning. I have a half a dozen glasses right now that are perfectly tuned without water, and I use those according to A440 tuning, and I use those to tune the rest by ear. Ah. Precise tuning. Just wiping them off. A little sharp. Middle C is right here. I got these at Pier 1. When I found out Mozart had written for glass, I knew I had to do it. It took me one year and 28 glasses to learn the first piece. I started with these eight glasses in the key of F. And I could play four glasses at once. It's the only musical instrument I know that evaporates. People can't believe the purity of the sound. The beauty of the sound is the thing that really captivates people. Here's a little bit of Beethoven. This is something new of Mozart's and uh, really is quite remarkable. There are only about three or four of us in the world that play it on glass. This is my life. I mean, you know, I'm only 70 years old. I'm looking forward to a, a great performance career. I, yeah, I mean, this is absolutely a thrilling sound to work with. <laughs> That's incredible. Allison Kenworthy, who shot that story, is with us now. I remember him from The Tonight Show from 30 years ago. He is famous. He is. He's been on The Tonight Show three times with Johnny Carson playing mm -hmm. three separate instruments, one of which was the glass harp. And he played a saw. He, I saw yep. he, And uh, he was remarkable. And from that, who would have thought it? you'd find him on the waterfront now? I know. And he, he's a local institution, and people sort of flock from all over the area to see him. But when he's not on the waterfront, he is traveling around the world playing. I, it's, he's made a name for himself, and who would have thought that you could go from The Tonight Show to Alexander on the waterfront? I've taken visitors there years ago and would run into him, and the crowd doesn't know how famous he is, and so I would kind of interrupt his little spiel and say, hey folks, you want to know who this guy right. is. People like him, don't they? They love him. They're, they're totally in awe of what he's doing. I mean, it's really unbelievable to watch. Are there little interesting factoids that you picked up on? There are. So he, the, Chris, the, the glasses that he uses are totally ordinary. They're from Pier 1, Crate and Barrel, nothing expensive. Um, it's a misconception that people think you can only play crystal. So ah. he has sets of crystal which he doesn't use because the sound runs too long on crystal. So he says that he goes to Crate and Barrel on Pier 1 and he takes water in with him and he pours it into glasses and he actually, you know, tests the glass. That's all. They should use him for a commercial. He would be great to show glassware at, at Pier 1. And he, you know, there's no ending for him. And something else that's interesting is he watches his diet before he performs. He can't have things like salad dressing or gravy um, because of the oils on the, in the on food. The so the pH oh. level and his body changes, so when the, his fingers touch the glass, it can sort of emit different oils that are not good. Learn for sound. something new every day. Allison yeah. Kenworthy, thank you. Great thank story. You.